Hello you two, welcome back to another maths lesson. Now I know last week with Miss Lloyd, you were looking at multiplication. We're gonna have a last little look at multiplication today before we move on to something else tomorrow. Do you think you can remember what to do? Before we get started, we're going to have a little bit of a game to get our brains warmed up. Now I know we play this lots and lots in the classroom, so you should know what to do. We're going to have a game of hit the button. I'm going to be playing it on the screen and you can shout the answers along with me. If you're not sure, don't worry. See if you can remember them for next time. Are you ready? Let's go. We're going to have a go on times tables. We're going to play the two times table today. See if you can join in with as many as you can. It's just like doubling. One times two is two. Eight times two is sixteen. Six times two is twelve. Seven times two, fourteen. Four times two, eight. Six times two, twelve. Twelve times two, twenty-four. Eight times two, sixteen. Three times two, six. Seven times two, fourteen. Four times two, eight. Eleven times two, twenty-two. Five times two, ten. Oh, I scored thirteen. I wonder if you could have a go and hit the button and see if you can beat my score. You might want to practice doubles first, because if you know your doubles, you will definitely know your two times table. Pause the video and have a go now. Today's learning objective is to use multiplication and equals. We're going to be thinking a little bit about what you did last week with Miss Lloyd. But now, we're going to start thinking about how we could do multiplication in our heads. We could use our fingers to help us, or if we practice enough, we will just know our multiplications off by heart. So what's the big picture? Well, if you know your multiplications, it's really helpful because it helps you count quicker. Rather than counting things by ones, if we learn our twos, our fives and our ten times tables, we can start counting things a lot quicker, like these explorers. They're trying to count bottles of water. It's going to take them ages if they try and count it one by one. Let's have a look at our key vocabulary for the lesson. We've got multiplication, commutative, groups, all together, and recognise. Can you remember that, what that word commutative means? Pause the video and see if you can tell a grown up. That's right. Commutative means you can just swap the number sentence around and you'll still have the same answer. You can do this with multiplication and addition. Let's have a look at this. What do I need to do here? It says there are five equal groups with two in each group. Let me have a go at drawing it. I have drawn five groups with two in each group. The addition number sentence would be 2, add 2, add 2, add 2, add 2 equals 10. But I can simplify that and write it as a multiplication sentence as either 5 times 2 equals 10 or remember it's commutative so it could be 2 times 5 equals 10. Let's have a go at this one together. There are three equal groups with five in each group. Pause the video and see if you can draw it. How did you get on? Here's my three equal groups with five in each group. Hmm, what would the addition number sentence be? I've got five in each group. How many groups have I got? Pause the video and have a go.
that's right, I had three groups of five, so it was five, add five, add five, equals 15. Did you get the same? Now have a go at the multiplication. So I've got five, how many times? Well done year two. It's three times five equals 15. But don't forget, it's commutative. So it could also be five times three equals 15. It gives you exactly the same answer. Have a look at this one. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and see if you can complete my table. Can you draw it? Find the multiplication sentence and write that sentence at the start about how many equal groups there will be with how many in each group. We'll come back for a check in a moment. Here's your check year two. How did you get on? We had 10 add 10 equals 20. 10 times 2 equals 20. 2 times 10 equals 20. And there are two equal groups with 10 in each group. Well done year two. You're doing a great job. Before we have a look at our new method, I want you to pause the video and go on to Scratch Garden on YouTube. You know the songs. See if you can practice counting in twos, fives and tens because it's really important that you know the rules of counting in twos, fives and tens before we start today's lesson. Off you go. Today we're going to have a look at how we would work it out just using our fingers or in our head. Have a look at this number sentence. 6 times 2 equals... Hmm, I'm not sure how to work it out. Pause the video and see what you think. When you see a number sentence like this, it can look scary. But all you have to do is look for the number you can count in. We can count in twos. So I'm going to count in twos. How many times do you think I'm going to count in twos? That's right, I'm going to count in twos six times. I'm going to use my fingers to help me. Will you join in with me, year two? Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I've got to six fingers, so the answer must be twelve. So now I can answer it. Six times two equals twelve. Let's have a go at another one. I wonder if it will work the same with this number sentence. I've got four times five. Hmm, what do you think I have to do? Pause the video. That's right, I have to look for the number I can count in. I can count in fives. So I've got to count in fives. And what's the other number in my number sentence? Oh, it's four. So I've got to count in fives four times. Again, I'm going to use my fingers to help me. Join in with me, year two. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I've got four fingers. The answer must be twenty. Four times five equals twenty. Let's have a go at another one. I wonder if it works for tens as well. Have a look at this number sentence. I've got 8 times 10 equals... Oh, I'm stuck again, year two. What do I have to do? Oh, yes. I have to look for the number I can count in. I can count in tens. So I'm going to count in tens. How many times, year two? Shout it at the screen for me so I can hear you. Oh, thank you. I'm going to count in tens eight times. I'm definitely going to need your help for this one. Here we go. Get your fingers ready. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. I've counted on my eight fingers. 
so it must be 80. 8 times 10 equals 80. Thank you for your help here too. Do you think you're ready for a challenge? Pause the video and have a go at these three number sentences and we'll have a check in a moment. Don't forget, you're looking for the number you can count in and the other number in your number sentence will tell you how many fingers you've got to count until. Have a go. Here's your check. 5 times 5 equals 25. 6 times 10 equals 60. And 8 times 2 equals 16. How did you get on year 2? Are you ready for another challenge? Here are Chili 1 and Chili 2. Chili 1 have just got the 10 times table and Chili 2 has got a mixture of 2s, 5s and 10s. And Chili 3 is a little bit of an open-ended investigation. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Well done year 2, you've worked really hard today. Keep it up. Well done to these people in 2CH, William, Jonah, Bradley, Riley Lee, Olivia, Archie, Adele, Alice, Havana, Ava, Maisie S and Molly. You have all been on Numbots. I'm giving you a dojo point for aspiration. Well done. In 2SH, well done to Grace, Penny, Franklin, Sophie H and Dylan. You are getting yourself a dojo point for aspiration. In 2L, well done to Josh, Jessica, Phoebe, Isla and Edward. You've earned yourself a dojo point for aspiration. And in 2W, well done to Lacey, Jesse, Layla M, Amelia OA, Isabel, Felicity and Anaya. You've also got yourselves a dojo point for aspiration. Thank you for joining me year two. I can't wait to see what you get up to. Don't forget you can always send in your work to our year two email address. I'll pop it on the screen here. I'm going to challenge you to have a go on hit the button. See if you can do the two times table, the five times table and the ten times table. See how many you get Keep practising, you never know, you might beat your score. I would also like you to go on Numbots. I'll be checking to see who's been on it. I wonder who will earn the dojo points next time. See you soon. Bye.